हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक एवरीवन सो होप यू हैव एंजॉयड योर वेकेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद योर क्यू बेसिक स्टेटमेंट चैप्टर एज यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न सम स्टेटमेंट और क्यू बेसिक स्टेटमेंट व्हिच इज इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिंट वी विल कंटिन्यू विद दैट here the revision of the print command the print command is used to display any message or a value if you want to print any thing in your queue basic you have to use print command to print your message or value and there are here are the two variant of print command print with semicolon if you use semicolon in your print values it will print the values one after another without any space in between it will not give any space in between the print statement if you will write two values in print statement with semicolon it will not give you, will show you the space between both the values if you will use print with comma if you use comma in between your values it will give the space in between but only five values can be printed in one line in case of more than five values the remaining value will be printed on next line suppose if you are have do you have to print different different values which is more than five it will not be printed in one line if you want the values to be printed in a one line you have to use print statement only five values and you have to separate it with comma and in case if there is more than five values it will be printed in a next line in q basic you have studied the next statement is input statement the input statement in q basic is used to accept the data item from the user this statement asks the user to make data entry by displaying a question mark during the execution of a program the program execution is suspended till the user enter a required value and presses the enter key so if you will use input statement it will ask the value from the user if you will write input and it will ask the value from you you have to give the value from the keyboard and it will stop the execution till that you will enter any value and after that you have to press the enter key and that value which you will write that will be accepted by the system so in ev in every input statement you have to give a value to the cube your cube basic program till then the execution of the program will be hold you must have used let statement also let statement is also called assignment statement it is used to assign a value to a variable in q basic it's optional to use let statement and line numbers so if you want to assign a, any value to your variable you have to use the let statement and it's optional in q basic line use statement and the let statement both are optional in q basic but it's easy to use let statement so i prefer you to use let statement to give values to your variable and if in case you want to input your values from the keyboard you can use the input statement if you already wants to give a fixed value to your program you can use let statement if you want it later in in your program to enter a value then you can use input statement you can use both the statement input or let to enter the values but in let statement you have to give the value during your program and in input statement you have to give the value to the variable at the time of execution of the program let state in let statement will not hold the execution of the program but in input statement will hold the execution of a program till you will enter any value so here is the example of let statement cls cls is for clear the screen any output which has been already there in your queue basic it will clear the screen it will delete that output and the program which you are running will show you the output of that particular program let x equal to 17 
here the variable x equal to 70 here we are giving the value of 70 to the variable x let y equal to 20 here we have entered a value 20 to the variable y now x hold the value 70 and the y hold the value 20 z equal to x plus y now a new variable z that will hold the value of x plus y that is 70 plus 20 that is 90 print x y sum z and here the the print statement we have used to print the value x comma y where whenever we not use double inverted comma it will print the value here x and the y are not printed in double inverted comma so they will give you the value 70 and y will give you the 20 and they are separated by only commas so there will be a space between them after that the sum is written and the sum is written in double inverted commas so the output will be in output the sum will be written as it is anything you will write in double inverted commas will be printed as it is comma z and z will give you the value that is 90 a z is not written in double inverted comma so the output will be 70 20 sum 90 anything you will write in double inverted comma will be printed as it is so this is the more most important part of the print statement and and statement will tell the program that the program is ended now leaving blank space lines so if you want a blank line between the two printed value so you have to write down the print statement I will show you to leave a blank line in between while printing an output use print statement in the following way this is the way how to show the blank line CLS for clear the screen print first line in first line is written in double inverted comma so it will print as it is then I have written print and this print will make the system to leave some space between them print last line this will print the last line anything which I have written in double inverted comma it will, will print it as it is so last line will be printed after some space and end will tell that program is been ended I will show you in practical how to use this program So move to the practical I will show you first of all you have to open your QBasic here is the ID of the QBasic I am running the ID it will come as it is as like this and you have to press the escape button to clear this dialog box here is the QBasic ID so you have to write your program here the very first command is CLS to clear the screen now I am showing you the example of how to give a space between lines you have to write down print anything which you want to print suppose first line now after this I am writing print this print will give you a blank line in between your first print and the last print print suppose this is your last line and end statement end statement will tell the program that the program is ended now
so after this i have to run this program to run this program i will click on run start here you can see a space between first line and the last line this is how we can leave a space now i will show you by entering one more print the space between the both the line will increase print 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 so i have written printed many times so it will give more space between them i will run this program run start see, you can see, easily see there is a gap between the first line and the second line this is how we can give the space between two different programs now we will do one example of let statement you have to write the program between cls and and l it is let x equals to 70 that means this x will hold the value 70 let y equals to 20 now this means y variable will hold the value 20 now z equals to x plus y now this variable z will hold the sum of both the value that is x and plus y 70 plus 20 that means 90 this z will hold the value 90 now we will print this statement and print statement will print this program x we will separate it by comma y comma anything in double inverted commas will be printed as it is sum equals to then comma z now i am going to run this program see 70 20 it has given the plenty of space between them just because we have used a comma so this is how the the output is 70 20 the value of x the value of y sum is equal to is written in double inverted comma so it is printed as it is and the value of the z is 90 so the last value is 90 and you are print statement this is how we use let statement now we can make one more program for input statement this is the example of let i will make one program for you for input statement input name dollar sign
we have used dollar sign just to tell the statement to basic that this name will hold the string value any string value has been used by the variable dollar sign any variable which will be holding the string value is been used by the dollar sign you have to write the dollar sign after that variable suppose input age age is a numeric value so we are not writing a dollar sign after the variable age print name comma age so let's run this program start syntax error okay so name print age i have not used a dollar sign after name so it is showing you the syntax error no a question mark shows you have to write down the value input statement okay now the second input we have to write the numeric values to give the age enter here is the print statement which i have written name comma age so i have written inputted the value from the keyboard that is ankit and in age i have written 25 so it it is showing you name and ankit and 25 in output like this so this is how you can use your input statement so you have to try all this at your home thank you